So you don't like ferro rods, and you really want some kind of backup for your fire kit. Well, I'm going to show you today the Zippo Emergency Fire Kit. All right, everybody, welcome back. So this is an item that's for those people that I hear a lot of times and say, I don't really like ferro rods, I'm not really good with them, whatever. Um, if you don't feel confident in your use of a ferro rod or any other fire starting method, try a few out. Maybe you'll find one that you do feel comfortable with. Um, right now, you know, if you're assembling a bag or you're trying to get an emergency kit together, it's not about what looks cool, it's about what works for you. Um, I know there's a lot of people that are like, oh, if you can't start a fire with a ferro rod, you shouldn't be trying to survive. Well, that's not right. <laughs> Let's just put it at that. So this is a kit from Zippo. This makes the whole fire starting thing a whole lot easier, and we are going to demo it. I'm just showing you what it looks like in the package. I think it's a pretty neat little kit. Very inexpensive. They're, what, eight, uh, eight thirty seven. And if you've tried to use a Bic lighter in a rain, or really, really cold to light a campfire, you'll definitely appreciate something like this. So you have your spark wheel up on top. Let me show you that there. And that's the same spark wheel. Um, I'm going to open it up in here and show you in a sec. That's the same wheel and, and uh, flint that is in all of your Zippo lighters. So if you already have a Zippo lighter, heck, you've already got backups for that. So let me open up the case and I'll show you what everything looks like inside. All right, so here is the heart and soul of the kit. This is it right here. Um, what I was telling you before, let me open this up. This unscrews here, and this is where you'll store your your uh, wax impregnated uh, little bits of cotton they've given you. You got this here, see? See that on the end there? You unscrew that, you got a spring and the flint. So you'll be able to replace that flint with any Zippo lighter flint. You do have a rubber gasket around here, so that keeps everything nice and dry. You have your instruction manuals inside here. Fairly simple, I'll give you a demo on how to use this. It's really very easy to use. Let's open these up. Let me stand that up so it doesn't roll off. Open up these guys, and this is what they look like. These are paraffin-coated wax cotton spark tinders. And as you can tell, they have a little hole in the middle. And the purpose of that hole, if you follow their directions, is you can take a twig or a stick and stick it through there. This is a little too small. But stick it through here, and it'll kind of come out and fluff up. You can also open these up and tear them apart. As long as you fluff them up, they'll work very well. The purpose of the hole also is the fact that they will fit in here if you stack them up inside. So I'm going to drop them in here and show you. And you can buy the re refills of these. I think they're 10 a pack. They're rather inexpensive. I forget what they cost right offhand, but they are on Amazon. You can pick up refills for them. And there's your kit right here. This is pretty much the whole thing. It's got a little lanyard attachment on the top here. So if you want to strap it to your gear, and it makes it so much easier to start a fire if you're not very good with a ferro rod. Now, you'll notice on top here, there's an arrow and a little indentation. This is where your finger goes. i got a little smoke rings. That's wild. <laughs> and that's the way the spark goes out. So let's get this outside and see if we can start a little bit of a tiny fire with it and see how it works. All right, so i got my little strainer, <laughs> veggie strainer fire pit going on out here. Um, and yeah, you, this is just a regular veggie strainer. You can buy these almost anywhere. Get yourself a little uh, grill off the top. I got a big piece of wood in there so it's not closing right. That's this guy here. But let me show you how you do that. There you go. You can close it up like that, and it will make a nice little grill. When you put a grill on top, it usually tends to stay closed. I just have some long pieces of wood in here, this guy here. So what I've done is I've kind of set up a little... A little fire. I don't want to make a huge one here, obviously. And we're going to try and get this going with just that little thing there. I'm going to stick it in about there. Now, there's the hole of this. I'm going to kind of carve this thing. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But this is really what you want here. Kind of like that. And for best results, they say to just leave it on the end of the stick. So let's see. we got it going the right way, right? One strike and it's going. Throw that right in there. These will burn for about five minutes, I believe. Put some little twigs over it. And there you go. Don't mind the next door neighbor's dog. He likes to bark. 
<laughs> anyway, there you go, and you can smell it. It kind of has that paraffin wax smell to it. And you're done with your kit. You can just seal it back up. And it's all waterproof. This will float, by the way. Um, as I told you, it does have the lanyard, but it will also float in water. And as you can see, that's uh, working pretty darn good. So I'm going to take a few minutes and enjoy this little fire out here and just kind of hang out. <laughs> I'll bring you back inside to uh, give you some more information on it, and we'll uh, wrap up the video. All right, so I couldn't have asked for a better demo than that. It was like first strike that thing went up. But these do light very easily. I am going to pick up some backup extra little little uh, paraffin impregnated uh, cotton tinders there. Um, I do like it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, you know, because, I don't know, it, just, it seemed, I'm so used to doing it my way that it seemed a little bit too simple. But I do like it as a backup, you know, definitely maybe good for a small kit, a car kit, where you don't want to just stick an expensive ferro rod in there if you have some good ones, you know. You would just throw toss that in there, and that's perfectly safe. There's no fuel. There's no fire. Anything that sparks is separated from the actual tinder. And it's a neat little kit. So that is the Zippo Emergency Fire Kit, or EFK, as they call it. Definitely a handy little thing to put in your gear. I wouldn't hesitate to use it. <laughs> I like the idea of putting it on the stick, and then the stick actually becomes part. It's almost like a match head. And that little stick, that little twig, lights the rest of the fire, and it burned up real quick. So... They're $8.37 on Amazon. I will put a link into where they are in my store down below. So if you want to click that link, you can go check them out. Um, don't forget to check out our store. There's tons of other stuff in there. Even if there's nothing in there you want, just click the link. Shop as you normally would. It really helps out our channel. And to you folks this month that have been doing that, thank you very much. <laughs> I really do appreciate you. Um, and don't forget to check out our uh, link down below for preparewithiridium.com for the four patriots. We have an awesome sale going on there, so check it out. Get a little freeze-dried food, get your food storage levels up. Definitely a good time to do it with all that's going on in the world. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link as well, and our Olight link. There's always something going on at Olight, so check them out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and stay prepared.